Hi boys, Beer Games here. Welcome back to another video here in GTA 5 Online. Well, Lampadati in game, it's real life Maserati. I believe there's 14 vehicle holding Lampadati badges in today's video. I'll show you all my Lampadati collection. Before I start, if you're watching me for the first time, subscribe to never miss any future upload. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. I will start with the Lampadati Felon. It's a four doors car based on fifth generation Maserati Quattro port and their convertible version of it coming up later on this list. Anyway, you can found the Felon easily in story mode or in online, it's on both sides. Honestly, it does look good, but it's an OG car. Plus, Rockstar removed it so you can't buy it. And you can't even steal one and put it in your garage, it won't work. I think even if it's still available to purchase, no will buy it. Simply because there is more cool options. In Next in line, I got the Lampadati Tropos Rally. Lampadati Tropos Rally is a two-door rally car added to the game as part of the Cunning Stunts update. This car is also not based on any sort of Maserati car. In fact, it's based on the Lancia Stratos. This car, it's a rear wheel drive. Surprisingly, the handling is good, I can't complain. Top speed, it's about 94 miles per hour when it's stock. Fully upgraded, expect it to touch 115 miles per hour. As you can see mine, it's still stock. I just bought it for the sake of the video, I'll keep it though. It's still available if you want to get one. Next up, I got the Lampadati Ferrore GT, one of the removed cars. I don't know about you guys, but I do love how this car looks. This car exists in both sides, online and offline. It's based on Maserati Alfieri concept. I used to drive this car a lot. The handling is good for an old car. Top speed, it's 94 miles per hour when it's stock. And fully upgraded, it's about 120 miles per hour. I still use mine from time to time. That's it for this car. Next up, I got Lampadati Felon GT. Basically, it's the same as the Felon. The only difference is the Felon GT is a two-door soft top convertible car instead of four doors hard top. You can found it in GTA story mode or in online. It's on both sides as well. Design was this car is based on two cars. The fifth generation Maserati Quattro Port and 2019 Maserati Grand Cabrio. The result of that mixing is Felon GT. This car, it's removed from the website. That's it for this car. Next in line, I got the Lampadati Cincamila. Cincamila, it's a four-door sedan added to the game as part of contract update. The Cincamila is based on the 2013 Maserati Quattroport 6. I don't know about you guys, me personally, I like how this car looks. It got a decent handling and stability. Top speed, it's 95 miles per hour when it's stock. Fully upgraded, expect it to touch 110 miles per hour. It's still available to purchase if you want one. I would say it's worth buying. Next in line, I got Lampadati Casco. The Lampadati Casco is a two-door classic car in GTA 5 Online, based on Maserati 3500 GT. Honestly, it does look good. I love this car. I kept mine stock, I didn't touch nothing. It's perfect the way it is. Of course, performance-wise, don't expect a high performance. It's a classic car at the end of the day. Top speed, it's about 90 miles per hour when it's stock. It goes up to 100 miles per hour when you upgrade it. Handling, in the other hand, is pretty good, especially for a classic rear-wheel drive car. The Casco is still available to purchase if you want one for your collection. Next up, I got Lampadati Komoda. Just like the Pegasi Osiris in the previous video, Rockstar gone wrong with this car too. It definitely doesn't belong to Lampadati, AKA Maserati. If you look at, you will see Alfa Romeo design. And that's true because the Lampadati Komoda, it's based on the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. Regardless of that, the car looks absolutely fabulous and you will see it a lot on car meets. I did include it on my previous videos, realistic cars. That was part one, I'm working on part two. 
I'll link it in the description below. Top speed of the Komoda, it's 96 miles per hour when it's stock. Fully upgraded, it can touch 124 miles. Add to that the good handling of this car. It's still available if you want one. Next up, I got Lampadette Pagal. Is a two-door coupe added to the game as part of I'm Not a Hipster update. This car, it's a mix between two cars, the Citroen SM and Maserati Mirac. This car still exists in story mood. I'm not sure if it's still available to purchase or it's removed. The Pagal, it's a front wheel drive car. Top speed, it's not impressive as expected. About 100 miles per hour and I can't complain about the handling for an old car like this. Next up, I got the Lampadati Novak, one of the untreated cars in GTA 5 online. The Novak, it's a high-end SUV added to the game as part of Diamond Casino update. This car is based on Maserati Levante, but honestly, it does look like it's based on Jaguar F-Pace. Anyway, I really like this car. I did include it in my top 10 Mafia cars. I will link in the description below. The Novak, it's a four-wheel drive car, which means it's got a pretty good handling on asphalt or an off-road. Top speed, it doesn't disappoint too. It can touch 126 miles per hour. Not bad for an SUV. I highly recommend it if someone looking for an SUV or you might think about Ubermacht Rabila GTS. It's a solid choice as well. Both of the two cars still available to purchase if you want one. Next up, I got Lampadati Michelli GT. Is a two-door classic car added to the game as part of San Andreas Supersport Series 2018. Rockstar gone wrong with this car too. The Michelli is based Alfa Romeo Giulia Sprint GT. Anyway, this car looks beautiful, especially if you keep it clean without liveries. That's my personal opinion. Handling is good, however, top speed it's another story. Top speed it's 86 miles per hour stock. Fully upgraded, it can touch 100 miles per hour. I think only players who do car meets, especially classic car meet, will buy this car. Because let's be honest, it's slow classic car, there are more fast options in the game. Next up, I got Lampadati Corsita. The Lampadati Corsita is a two-door sports added to the game in the Criminal Enterprises update. The Corsita is mainly based on the Maserati MC20. It looks good, isn't it? Of course, this car isn't just about looking, it got a pretty good performance too. The handling is good, it takes corners easily. Speed, it's 100 miles per hour when it's stock. Fully upgraded, it can touch 130 miles per hour which makes it the fastest Lampadati on this list. It's still available to purchase if you want to get one. Next up, I got Lampadati Tigon. The Lampadati Tigon is a two-door supercar added to the game as part of Los Santos Summer Special Update. Honestly, I never seen or heard of Maserati like or near to the design of the Tigon Witch means it's not based on Maserati for sure. When I did my research, I found that the Tigon is based on a car I never heard about. It's the De Tommaso P72. So design-wise, it looks unusual if can say that. The Tigon, it's a rear-wheel drive car with a powerful engine, so expect it to spin easily. Top speed, it's 100 miles per hour when it's stock. Fully upgraded, expect it to hit 125 to 127 miles per hour. Definitely not a slow car. You can win some races using this car. Just watch out on corners. This car is still available if someone wants to buy it. Unfortunately, there's another car named Lampadati Viserys. I don't have it in my collection, so I can't talk about it. Hopefully Rockstar will add it to the game temporary so I can buy one. And there's Lampadati Toro which is a boat I won't talk about because this is a car video. Before I end this video, in the previous video, I said that I will not use AI voice again. Believe me guys, I tried my best, but the voice quality was so bad because I don't have a mic. I will get one soon. Anyway, that's it for Lampadati. It's, let me know in comments. What should I do next?
Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bear Games signing the video off. Peace out, boys.